a name synonymous with innovation, creativity, and vision. Yes, we're talking about none other than Steve Jobs. Born into the bustling era of the mid-20th century, Jobs was not just a man, but a catalyst that sparked a revolution in the world of technology. His name is etched in the annals of history as the co-founder of Apple Inc., a company that has become a byword for innovation and design excellence. But Jobs was more than just a corporate figurehead. He was a visionary who dared to think differently, to challenge the status quo, and to imagine a future where technology is at the heart of human existence. His influence extends far beyond the confines of Apple, shaping the very way we live, work, and communicate. Jobs' life, however, was not without its fair share of trials and tribulations. His untimely demise left the world in shock, but his legacy continues to inspire millions. An icon in the truest sense, Jobs' life was nothing short of extraordinary. But how did it all begin? Born on February 24th, 1955, in San Francisco, California, Steve Jobs' journey was unique from the start. The story of his early years is not just about a boy and his dreams, but about how those dreams were nurtured to become reality. Adopted by Paul and Clara Jobs, Steve found himself in a home where curiosity wasn't just encouraged, it was celebrated. His father, a mechanic, introduced him to the world of electronics, a world that sparked a fascination in young Steve a fascination that would come to define the rest of his life. His high school years in Cupertino, California, were marked by this growing passion. It was here that Steve started to focus his energies on what he loved most, electronics. These years laid the foundation for his unique vision and innovative spirit. And so, a young Steve Jobs, filled with curiosity and ambition, was ready to step into the world. In 1976, Alongside Steve Wozniak and Ronald Wayne, Jobs co-founded what would become one of the world's most valuable companies, Apple. This is where the story of Apple Inc. really begins, with three men, a garage, and a vision for the future of personal computing. In the confines of Jobs' family garage in Los Altos, California, a revolution was brewing. This was not a revolution of arms or politics, but of innovation and technology. Here, the first Apple computer, aptly named the Apple I, was conceived and built by Steve Wozniak. A simple device by today's standards, yet it represented the dawn of a new era in personal computing. But the Apple Y was just the beginning. The real game changer was the Apple II. Launched in 1977, the Apple II was the catalyst that propelled Apple Inc. into the tech spotlight. It was a machine that was far ahead of its time, boasting color graphics and an open architecture. This wasn't just a computer for the tech savvy. It was a computer for everyone. Jobs' vision for personal computing was not just about creating machines. It was about creating tools that would empower individuals. He saw a future where computers would be as common in households as televisions, where they would be used not just by scientists and engineers, but by students, artists, and homemakers. He saw a future where technology would change the way we work, learn, and communicate. And he was determined to make that future a reality. But the road to success wasn't a smooth one. Initial reactions to the Apple II were lukewarm at best. Many criticized it for being too expensive and too complicated for the average user. But Jobs and his team didn't waver. They believed in their product and they believed in their vision, and their perseverance paid off. Within a few years, the Apple II had become the best-selling personal computer in the world. And thus, Apple Inc. was born, forever changing the landscape of technology. But this was just the beginning. The birth of Apple Inc. marked the start of a journey that would see many more groundbreaking innovations and a legacy that continues to shape the world of technology to this day. But not all was smooth sailing. In 1985, Jobs found himself ousted from Apple, the very company he helped create. This turn of events marked the beginning of what is often referred to as the wilderness years for Steve Jobs. Yet, even in the face of adversity, his innovative spirit remained undeterred. 
Jobs channeled his energy into creating Next Inc., a computer and software company that was ahead of its time in many ways. But Jobs' influence wasn't just confined to the tech world. His venture into the realm of entertainment proved to be a game-changer as well. He invested in Pixar Animation Studios, a relatively unknown entity back then. This move would eventually lead to the creation of some of the most beloved animated films of all time. Jobs' wilderness years were a testament to his unwavering vision and tenacity. Despite setbacks, he continued to push boundaries and rewrite the rules. Jobs proved that even in adversity, true visionaries find a way to innovate. In a twist of fate, Apple bought Next in 1997, bringing Jobs back to the company he loved. This marked the start of a new era, not just for Apple, but for the entire tech industry. Upon his return, Jobs found Apple on the brink of bankruptcy. But he was not deterred. He knew this was his chance to breathe life back into his creation. And that's exactly what he did. Jobs introduced a series of innovative products that would forever change the way we interact with technology. First came the iMac in 1998, a beautifully designed all-in-one computer that was as powerful as it was aesthetically pleasing. The iMac was a statement, a clear message that Apple was back and ready to reclaim its place at the forefront of the tech scene. Then, in 2001, Jobs unveiled the iPod, a sleek, pocket-sized device that could hold thousands of songs. It revolutionized the music industry and put Apple squarely in the consumer electronics business. But Jobs wasn't done yet. In 2007, he introduced the world to the iPhone, a smartphone that combined a phone, an iPod, and an internet communication device into one easy-to-use product. It was a game-changer, and it's not an exaggeration to say that it transformed our lives. And let's not forget the iPad, launched in 2010. It was another groundbreaking product that redefined tablet computing, offering a new way for people to consume content play games, and stay connected. However, as Jobs was revolutionizing the tech world, he was also battling pancreatic cancer. Despite his illness, he never wavered in his commitment to Apple and his vision for the future of technology. Steve Jobs passed away on October 5, 2011, but his legacy lives on, forever etched in every Apple product and in the heart of the tech world. His passion, innovation, and relentless pursuit of perfection continue to inspire generations. His story is a testament to the power of belief, determination, and the courage to think differently. And that, indeed, is the true legacy of Steve Jobs.